Hogwarts Legacy is everything that you want in a game and harkens back to the golden years of gaming where you're having so much fun, the moment you hop off, you just want to get back on and keep playing. If you want something to compare it to, it's like Fable on steroids. The story, graphics, and gameplay are truly special and sets the bar for what current gen gaming should be. In the next couple of minutes, without getting into spoilers, I want to talk about why Hogwarts Legacy is the best game of the year and why you should play it. gamer in this day and age, we have become accustomed to drab, boring, low effort, bug infested, broken games. <laughs> and we're told to be happy about it. We overpay and companies under deliver with a promise to update, but at the end of the day, we're always left underwhelmed. Remember the days when you used to buy a game and you got a complete game in working condition? You would play it for hours on end whenever you wanted. You never had to worry about updates, crashes, but you just had a full game in working condition. Hogwarts Legacy is a return to what makes gaming great. It's not perfect, but it's worth it. I will say, this game is actually worth the money. Most games nowadays are not worth 60 or $70 because they're broken, busted, you just feel like you're kind of getting ripped off and it's not really worth it. This though, I've already put 30 plus hours into it, having a great time, having fun, and I'm not even done yet. And I feel like I have totally gotten my money's worth. Hogwarts Legacy is set 100 years before the events of the Harry Potter books. The story takes place amidst the Goblin Rebellion of 1890, led by the antagonist goblin, Ranrock. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery. It's about Ranrock. You play as a fifth year transfer student at Hogwarts, attempting to solve the mystery of a mysterious ancient magic, while also being the go-to person to help solve everyone's problems. You wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clubs for me. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? I'd also hoped you could find my box of letters. I love That's how everyone well. in this if world World wants me to do everything for oh, them. <laughs> no one does anything themselves. So <gasps> Could you go see what the do. butterflies are doing? You Could you investigate right this for me? Here. Could you do that I for me? Could you do this for me? Could you do that for me? Could you go check on that for me? Could you go look into this for Don't me? It's like nobody wants to do anything, bro. It's like the wizarding world of Gossip Girl. Everyone has a problem and you're the only one who can fix it. All jokes and spoilers aside, the story in Hogwarts Legacy is really interesting and engaging. And wanna know a secret? I'm not even a Harry Potter super fan. I've watched the movies and been to Harry Potter world, but I've never read the books, so most of the details are actually lost on me in this game. However, my wife is a super fan and she notices every detail. Let me tell you, if you are a Harry Potter super fan, you are going to love the attention to detail in this game. This is the TikTok hair for sure. Thor, we got the Harry Styles right here. This game is truly beautiful. While the graphics aren't mind blowing, the world is absolutely stunning. And I can't tell you how many times I've just stopped to smell the roses. Whether it's flying outside Hogwarts at sunset or stumbling upon an incredible view, this game's beauty cannot be overstated. It's awesome. Everything in Hogwarts looks and feels exactly like the movies. There's even videos going around where people are reading paragraphs from the books 
alongside gameplay footage, and the attention to detail is staggering. They knocked it out of the park. They even tracked the seasons in the game. When I started playing, everything was sunny and nice, and then about 20 hours in, I saw things change color into fall, and Hogwarts was decorated with pumpkins all over the place. Then, at around 30 hours, I noticed it started to snow some days, and Christmas wreaths, garland, and Christmas trees appeared all over Hogwarts. From Hogwarts to Hogsmeade, you see the passage of time, and it's a small detail, but it's pretty freaking cool. The Harry Potter soundtrack that John Williams cooked up is one of the most iconic in all of cinema, so this game has some big shoes to fill. And I'm happy to report that this game fills those shoes brilliantly. From the outset, the music plays a vital role in just setting the mood, setting the tone, and bringing out the motion of this game. Oftentimes when a new composer tries to build on a foundation or a body of work previously laid out, it can be really hard to capture the original spirit of the music. And so the new soundtracks can feel like it's missing something. <coughs> Halo. However, with Hogwarts Legacy, that is not the case. The music is exciting and enchanting, adding depth and emotion to every moment. I had zero expectations, and I found myself tearing up in moments where I'm caught off guard by the beautiful score in this game. The game makes you feel like you're in a movie with different sections and moments having their own musical themes. If you're soaring over Hogwarts, you'll be overwhelmed by a giant orchestra performing during your flight. If you find yourself battling against poachers and goblins, you'll have an epic score behind you while you slay out. Wherever you might be, whatever you might be doing, there will be a subtle soundtrack full of emotion driving you deeper into the story. The sound design also deserves its own full-length YouTube video. Down to every little detail, this game sounds great. Mixed, balanced, and unique audio design keep you fully immersed in what's going on. The casting of spells and explosions make you feel like you're really fighting. Wherever you walk, it sounds like you're there. Walk through Hogwarts and you'll hear students chattering, paintings yelling, potions brewing, and magic being practiced. Everywhere you go, there's small audio cues that you almost don't even notice, but they add so much color and really just keep you immersed. Before money poisoned the video game industry, game developers used to prioritize a verb called fun. These days, fun is a rare commodity in gaming. Most companies are so focused on grabbing cash, they miss the chance to capture our hearts and minds. Not with this game, though. I went to my local Target, and I paid full price, around $70 after tax, for Hogwarts Legacy. I originally bought it for my wife, who's a Harry Potter fan, but then I accidentally played it for 20 hours. This game got me hooked real good. The fighting is so fun and intuitive. I'm playing through on normal difficulty, and it strikes the perfect balance between challenging and satisfying. The way the menus work and controller is laid out just makes sense. There are countless quests to pursue, and yet they all have meaning and purpose. Some will teach you a new spell, some will unlock a new item you can use, some will move the story forward and add another layer of depth to what's happening. Almost everything has a point and a purpose. And yet, the world is so vast and open and beautiful that sometimes I just find myself flying around enjoying the view, dropping in and casting Crucio on some poachers while the sun sets behind me in beautiful hues of purple and pink while they scream out in terror and agony. But you can run around and farm supplies, brew potions, take care of animals to get resources for upgrades, spend 15 minutes customizing your outfit to your liking. Whatever you want to do, you can pretty much do it. This game is so fantastic. You could literally spend eight hours running around in just Hogwarts and still not discover every secret hidden door contraption everything that's in the school the game is truly a display of what scope and scale should look like for next-gen gaming the game is huge in scope but it's not overwhelming side quests are fairly simple and there's a great mix of puzzle stealth and combat sometimes you have to be sneaky and other times you just have to kill everything. Then there are other quests where you can simply choose how you approach it. And can I say, I love that. I love having options. A lot of the quests remind me of Splinter Cell, when there are multiple ways to complete the same mission. It allows for so much creativity and replay value. And Hogwarts Legacy does this really well. I'm already looking forward to my replay on a higher difficulty. Most mainline quests eventually culminate in a big challenging boss fight. 
The game all around does a good job of making everything you do feel worth it, and the payoff for completing a challenging quest is pretty good, even if it is just selling off all the lower tier loot you found along the way. I will say, the game's not perfect. It definitely has its problems, an occasional glitchy texture, a missed audio cue. The enemies can get a bit repetitive. There's dialogue overlap. NPCs can glitch out sometimes. But overall, it's an incredible experience. And all the problems really aren't any inconvenience. They're typically funny and just require a little bit of polish. The morality aspect of the games seems to have little effect on the outcome. All throughout your quest, you'll be given opportunities to make bad choices or good choices. And from what I can tell, the moral path you carve out has little effect on your character or the story. For instance, in Fable, when you choose to kill someone or do a bad thing, you might miss a whole part of your story or change it completely. Your character would also be affected by either growing horns or a halo. Your moral compass really impacted the game. Unlucky hero, maybe next time. <laughs> I could do a massive deep dive on so many parts of this game, but I'll sum it up here. If you love gaming, and especially open world RPGs, buy this game. It's easily a 60 hour game if you are a completionist. After about 20 hours of gameplay, I felt like I had already gotten my money's worth. This game has so many cool and unexpected moments that it does what so many current gen games fail to do, inspire. Just when I thought I knew what to expect in this game, I got thrown into a quest that was unlike anything I could have imagined. The surprises just keep coming with Hogwarts Legacy, and I, for one, am not mad about it. This game is a love letter to Harry Potter fans and gamers everywhere. A beam of light in a dark, bleak industry clouded by greed. It has me on my hands and knees begging for more DLC. If I'm being honest, I kind of forgot what this felt like. This is what gaming used to be like. This is how it used to feel. There used to be excitement, fun, and inspiration around video games. But the industry sadly has lost its way, yet one remains, true to the ways of old. Is this game perfect? No. Is it an incredible foundation to build on for the years to come? Absolutely. To all the team who made this game, thank you. You've reminded us all of the beauty of gaming and set the bar for the rest of the industry. Well done.